What um, Italian-inspired projects are we gonna make today? Okay, so one of the things that we both love about Italy, particularly in the summer, is the way, which we talked about, these meals, right? You sit outside under, you know, sparkling lights and down a long table and everybody's passing food and it's just laughter and glasses clinking. It's wonderful. Mm, it's amazing. magical. And we've had many of those nights there during yeah. this renovation. After long days, we sat around the table and ate, but... The amazing thing about the tables there is they have this incredible patina because they've been sitting outside, right? They, yes. You know, they're out in the vineyards and they're just beautiful. But you can bring that look home really easily. Oh so and we're going to teach you how to do that. crazy expensive. Yes. Okay. So I we are going to, to age a table to get yes. that old patina look that usually only comes from oxidized sun, like yeah. sun and time. So yes. sun and time normally yeah. makes this happen. So yes. We used pine, which yes, is so readily this. available in any lumber yard. So this it's is a soft wood, super porous, oh, so yes. it accepts stain really easily. I like that, accepts stain. But this is not even, this is a natural stain. Okay, so go ahead, baby. We got vinegar, we got steel wool. Vinegar is a part We of are essentially yeah. making iced tea. We're gonna boil mm -hmm. vinegar, we're gonna dump it in some steel wool, okay. and then you let this sit for, yeah. here, we gotta start brushing some yeah, on. You, we're gonna put you to work. Okay, you let this to sit work. for an hour, got my tool and you belt. have, right. here we go, we'll I just dip it brush in it on. Mm -hmm. An amazing natural stain. I love this. You can do it as dark or deep as you want. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm listening today. <laughs> Am I doing, uh-oh. What, what, what happened? What did we do? I don't know what happened. Laughing? I don't know why everyone's laughing at us. <laughs> <What? laughs> Was it Dave? We are very serious yes, up here. we are very serious. We're like, what happened? Okay. So when you say, okay, so. if I want it light, what do I do? Put a little bit? Yep. A little bit on. You can do multiple coats. Mm -hmm. You can actually put more steel wool into the vinegar. The more steel wool you have, the darker it gets. Yes. Mm. So you can see, here we'll show. This was the finished, and then these were ours. And uh, you can keep going, and then you let this dry overnight, and it'll give you this nice. beautiful patina yeah. look. I love this. It protects it, it yeah. ages it, and really what completes it is the wine. Oh. <laughs> the bottle and, and of the wine. The bottle. I, yeah, I was watching the grapes. Okay. Yeah, or the grapes. <laughs> I mean, you can spill wine on it, and that helps with the aging yes. process as yeah. well, because then uh, there's a story around it. Right. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, character. It gives it a story. Right. Character. 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 That's why I love that vintage yes. feel. What you got next? Okay. okay, over here. This I love, love, love terracotta pots. Love. Okay. Um, but they can be very expensive. So we're going to show you how to create an aged terracotta pot from that a very so inexpensive good. one you can find at the store. And what I love about this is what we got to experience when we were in Especially Italy. Right. Here, well, okay, grab some brushes. So this, Dave, Real just quick. a lime. This is too. lime. Okay. Here just lime that you would put on your plants. Changes yes. the pH and water. Oh. Kind of stinks. Okay. Yeah, but, so more painting. You've done a lot of painting today, but no splattering, just paint. No splatter. No, no splatter. Just good, clean. <laughs> just so there is no wrong way to do this. Okay. You know, this is a brand new yes. clay pot. Mm -hmm. These are go. pots that look amazing after, the, the longer they age, the better yes. they look. And so there's all these incredible pots in Italy, but you can do that right here with lime. So well, the this lime doesn't will react. Look, yeah, this doesn't look great. But you leave this, you sit it overnight, and then it looks like that. And this will be the outcome. Grab a piece of sandpaper. Yes. We did that. make a mess. I said no splattering, but we splattered. Well, you know, we I'm just a learner. Okay. So you are just, we are, there is no, see, we're sanding through to the original terracotta. And then we are giving some aged. And it's nice to just kind of make it uneven because then it looks natural. And yeah. it has that organic look. And it gives you this beautiful aged terracotta pot like you find in Italy that mm. we love. And it just feels... Again, like that organic material that I, I love. That's one of the yes. things we love about it over there is Jennifer, all these I told old... you, could, I couldn't do this wrong. And then Ginny looked and she was like, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, so we got we to gotta work on this, continue to no, work on this. It to looks good. No, I think it's it the coolest good. thing, and it'll fit perfect in my house. Right? Y'all going to have me in the house trying to do so many things. Thank you so much. Yes. Will y'all come back again and see us? I would love Absolutely. to. I love this whole Thank Italian you. feel. I brought me a bench because I love a good old bench. Okay. okay? Me too. And then I want you to teach me some of your zhuzh with this painting and stuff. Can you okay. show us a you little ready? bit? Yes, I am, and I'm right. excited about it. I want to get real creative. Okay, right. so let's get into it. So we're just going to do like some swirl and splatter. I okay. love splatters and swirls and just simple, just... And as your energy actually flows through the paint and hits ah. the canvas. So which, what colors do you feel are talking to you? Of course purple, Well, John. All right, well, which one? You want okay. a lot? So you can do drip, like, so you can do like this. Yeah, show me. You can do it like that, oh, that or you can just so go like this and let it drip down. 
Ooh, I like this. So you can do a bunch of different techniques. So you okay. try your okay. way. Okay. And I'm going to hit, what, what else? Pink? Yeah. Pink? <laughs> pink, I love pink. Or blue. Okay, uh, like ooh, blue. it's so many good colors up here. Can you go blue and I go pink? All right, let's see. Can we try it together? You go first. So I'm going to go a lot. Okay. So it's going to be like. I love this. Ah, it's like a. Like, just let it flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Yeah, that's great. Now look how good that looks. That now, looks so good. We just gotta hit some of these legs. Hit the legs. Hit the legs. Do you know the fussing I would have got my mama in the house? What are you doing? But this is right up my alley, y'all. But it's oh my it's goodness. a vibe. It's such a vibe. Did I get you? Nope. Okay. My shoe came off, but it's okay. If I could add, I could add any color I want. Yeah, but look how good that this looks already. Looks, uh, this looks amazing. And I like how we got a little drop. Oh my goodness. So we can even go. Okay, let me try that. A little drops. Squat. We need one more color, I think. Well, yeah, one I was color. thinking that. Oh, what if we did black? What y'all think? What, what color? color? Yeah. Orange, orange. Yellow? Go. I got Ooh. a little one. Okay. Well, see, this will be like the sun. Yep. In the sky. Psst, 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 psst. There we go. This makes me so happy. <laughs> right. Oh my god. And look at the vibe. This is so good. You got your own like graffiti style bench. And it's gonna drip. But and it's gonna create even more patterns. But like, it, look this cool even looks dope under here. Yeah. All it need is a J hood. I did say yeah, huh? <laughs> you no, said no, no. yeah. 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 <laughs> Can't nobody say it like you. Oh my goodness. So you just okay. need a few things. You need a mirror. You can get this at any, you know, local hardware store, big box store. Yeah, yes. thrift store. Mirror, thrift store, wherever you want. We got these wood appliques here. Yeah. Uh huh. You can find these at the same store. Super affordable. You need spray paint, some tape to tape off your mirror. This is an antiquing wax. Antiquing wax. And we have gloves on and we need glue. All right. Done. I want to learn. Okay, all right. All right. So okay. grab it. Everyone grab it. Yes. Grab so it. so first, piece. you would just need to one. spray paint these. Yep. So, oh, so spray painted. painted. Yes. So right. these ones are spray painted. Mm -hmm. So we're going to grab these so ones. So yeah, these ones aren't painted yet. But if you're going to spray paint, be sure to give a good distance, probably eight inches or so. Apply lightly so it doesn't drip. The last Have you spray painted? Yeah, I was <laughs> spray painting my toilet. Okay. Oh, oh I love oh. this. Oh, wait, 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 wait and then I was either. in the garage spray painting some, and I ended up spray painting my mat car. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think that's happened before. So. I'm saying that to say I hope I don't spray paint you. So what? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have these pre-spray okay. painted yeah. ones dried. So if you wanted to grab one yes. of those, we have. I'll take, um, I'll take that one. Okay. Antiquing wax. Yeah, so so this is really what? fun because you just put this on and it's gonna make it look. How do you apply that? Kind of vintage. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you'll just take a glow glob here. With your finger? Yeah, with your finger. <laughs> and then just kind of rub it on and then work it into the to really? the piece. Yep. Oh, this is interesting. Isn't that fun? Uh oh. Okay, have you seen these mirrors though with the, the fun? They look kind of yes. Victorian. Yes. And it's my favorite. I love, I love the Victorian style. So I could do this myself? A hundred percent. And I feel like it's also a good project. It's like renter friendly. This is really fun. Beginner right. friendly, like I said. So when <laughs> you can customize oh, oh, oh. it. I'm trying. There you go. No. <laughs> oh yes. Now spread it around. Spread, spread it, it around. around. Yep. So what what works the best is once you, you know, get a coat on everywhere, you can take a brush and then you can really get it oh. in. Really get it into the nooks and crannies. I think it's time for my brush. Yep. Oh no. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Let me see up in there. All right. We love it. But then once you get it to where you kind of want it to be. I like this. Then all you need is some glue. Okay. And it doesn't have to dry. Yes, it does. Wait, oh. We, we, we have a finished one, but we're going to glue these on wet. But if it was real life, right. definitely wait till it dries. Yeah, and okay. Obviously, we'd take our time, but we're going quick. We're How long will it take it to dry? I would give it overnight. Overnight? Yeah. OK. OK. I feel like my piece is ready to roll. Mine is too. All right, I'm just rolling with it, guys. All this glue. Yeah, I you're the glue. OK. OK, so grab some glue. I'm going to be antique yep. everything. We have the glue here. OK. Hit it up. And take this off. Okay, so we marked the center of our mirror here, and we did mark the sides already. And what's fun is you can get creative. 
You can right. put it wherever you want. Because it's right, your yeah. own expression okay. of it. Right. Let me think. Yep, and you just there we go. Bop it on here. You can just set it on. And this then if so you cool. want to put yours there. I just feel like this is such a fun way to add a pop, a little statement to your but, bathroom. Yes. And it's gorgeous. And where, like, you collect these, you find... Yeah, like, you can get those, find those big box stores. I feel like you get them online super easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can find them anywhere. anywhere. And uh, here's a finished product <laughs> over I here. That. I feel like it makes such a difference on just a basic mirror. It's so good. Why don't you love it? it? So what we're going to do is a DIY ottoman. Mm -hmm. And it starts with you picking your favorite rug, like this one I have here. When you go to the store, look for the washable mm -hmm. rugs. That's a little tip. So you can take it off, throw it in the washer, put it right back on if you want to. Nice. The end result is to look like that there. Ooh, that looks okay. good. Now, I love it. Now, too. beginning, mm -hmm. end. So let me show you how we get there. First thing is you take your rug and you're going to take a right angle ruler, see, just like this, mm -hmm. put it on the corner and cut the perfect square on every end. So right. you go first. Oh, my goodness. What and is this? Step by step. Perfect. So we're going to nope, cut you, these. You, uh -oh. Go ahead. We what traced it out for you. You traced now it out for me. Now you cut okay. it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take my time. Now, how long does something like this normally take? Well, watch this, y'all. Well, if you sing your way through it, it might go do a little do easier. There it goes. Because I would love a little music. <laughs> but it's, it's not that hard. So you do all four corners. Yeah. And then once you have the corners cut. You OK, Jennifer? You know what? I'm concentrating. OK. There you go. Now, keep to it as well. You want to make sure you measure twice and only cut once. Measure okay. twice and only cut once. There you there go. You go. Now watch so you don't this. go wasting material. Don't you do Ooh. that? Okay. There we go. Is that perfect? Y'all right, give me that for Jennifer for cut. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna move those out. The okay. Way. Right. Should I put this over here? So Please. yeah. So now you've done that. Imagine to all of your corners. Uh -huh. And and then what you're going to do? A few things. I like to sew the inside, but I know this is a new generation out here that doesn't <laughs> believe in sewing because <laughs> nanas didn't teach them how to do it apparently. Mm -hmm. So what you can do mm -hmm. is get an upholstery staple gun. I like that. Now imagine that this is inside out first. What you're going to do after you've cut all the corners is fold it and just staple on down. Now I've done that already to show you what it looks like, okay? okay. Uh-huh. Then you're going to take a piece of foam. This and, foam right here. And you cut the foam to fit or you when you first have your rug, you just retrofit it. You cut you it. Put it on. Let's go okay. ahead and put it, it in. Uh-oh. There you go. Now help me there out. You, go. you got this. Come on, y'all. So Jennifer, you can do it. Y'all done put me to work. I can do it. You can do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Right, turn it. Turn it. <laughs> okay. Got it. Basically, watch this. Mike, we can't do it. Can you help? Uh-oh. Watch out. Watch see, out. see, okay, this is so, a super tool. Now, we had a pre-cut board here <laughs> uh -huh. for your base. That's okay. Flip it out. Get out of yeah, this is oh, how I get my honey-do list at the house. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait a second. Let me explain something. We're going to snap it on in Let here. me explain something, though, first, baby. There's a few different ways that, that we can actually adhere this. If you don't sew, then you can get Velcro, and you just line the edges. How many of you? Put your hands up if you don't sew. Uh-huh. Oh, so then you're the Velcro we'll crew. The glasses going over and, here. And, and it's fine. What you could also do is get a board like this. Mm -hmm. It here snaps to it. And then you snap it on the end, oh, okay? okay? Uh -huh. Or who remembers? Um, okay, you can laugh at this. Listen, did, did, <laughs> did you, did you, do you remember when we used to get the bed and the corners of the sheets would just pop? Yes. Up? So who used to have these? I like, didn't, cause my sheets was just popping. Okay. <laughs> I didn't so, have these. I just had some shoestrings. I just tied them. <laughs> So like that. another good way to keep <laughs> okay. it tight is actually using these old sheet snaps, okay? Uh -huh. And you can keep it on. But ultimately, after you've done that, you can take the base of any old ottoman. Mike mm -hmm. actually made this one. This one's made from scratch, but don't be scared of that. You can find an old base or repurpose one that you already have, take it off the top and put that right on back. Yeah, and I then got you've got yourself mm -hmm. a ready-made ottoman, nice. but uh, yeah, I love it. I think they're the perfect decor. Yes. Ooh, I love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this. This is amazing. We are going to lay tile. Oh. Well, we meaning you. Oh, oh, I say, it look like you're gonna put me to work. Work. Okay, listen, okay. we're I'm, going to create to what's on our focal point right there, Okay. here. So this is a beautiful mosaic, looking focal tile that you can put in your kitchen mm -hmm. for very little on the dollar because you can do it yourself. DIY. 
I love that. Yeah. Okay. And so we're going to get into it and talk about it at the same time, okay? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I've never done this. Can you tell by my face? So anyone can tell. Anybody can tell. Yeah. Okay. You're going to have time. Especially small spaces. You know, what we're looking at here with this focal point, with this tile mural, is that we're not doing the whole wall. Now, if you're going to do your whole kitchen, then bring in a brigade, you know, but you can do a small, concentrated area yourself, and okay. it's really cost-efficient, won't break the bank. It's like arts and crafts, almost. It's very arts and crafts. It's very therapeutic, too, when you it think about like it. it. Yeah. Okay. I want what you to grab saying? this. Grab this. So this is a trowel. Trowel. Yes, it's trowel. What does it do? Well, we're going to take this tile set right here, right? Okay. This is basically glue. Okay. Okay, and we're just going to spread it on this board, because this is the glue that's going to make the tile stick to your backboard. Okay. So what we don't want to do is make it flat. So you see these grooves right here? The same grooves are on the back of this tile. How beautiful is this tile? It's a it's handmade, hand-painted tile. And we don't want to make it flat because it won't pick up on the grooves on the back of the tile. So you just kind of want to make an S like that. Pick up a nice bunch of it. Okay. And then just make it in an S form, right? Okay. On the, on the sharp tooth side. On the top? Okay. Yeah, like that. Uh oh. Like this. Here we go. No, no, Jennifer, hold on, like this. Hold on, no, you hold on to it. Hold on to hold it. On, she's now, I'm an awkward lefty. Here we okay. go. We're gonna go. So you a lefty, wait, wait, wait. I'm a righty. It's therapeutic. Okay, right. It's we gotta, we gotta feel it. I need a little music. Oh, we need some music. Here we go. Do you listen to music when you do I this? do, I do. Okay. So like, get some more. Get We're just gonna more. do it all over this. So this is like the glue that will <laughs> stick the this tile. Me in the house. <laughs> yes. But do it on this side too. Oh, okay. And now you see these here are called spacers because what we have to do, this is really a 24-hour event that we're doing right here, okay? We have to let this glue and the tile stick for about 24 hours before we can put the grout on. But we'll get to that next. 24 hours. Go on your tooth side, the oh, comb the side. There we side. go. Because we, we go. want it grindy like. Yeah, we want these kind of grooves like this all over. Oh, I could, Lord. I could do this. Oh, Hold on. Almost, almost. Am I getting... You're not a baker. I don't cook. Ooh. You could tell? Yeah, I could tell. Oh, Lord. It's okay. We're here together. <laughs> That's why two are better than one. See that? She got oh. me all the way out. Come on. Okay. Mm. Mm. Dang. Mm. It's mm. like a mm. dance. There we go. So now, yeah, I told you yeah. we need the music. There we go. So okay. now, that's enough for that's this enough? demonstration. That's enough? That's yeah. enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now, you know, when you pick out your tile, for this it, it, example, we you know we have a picture. So we'll see what we're laying out, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to put your tile right here. I get to do it? You get to do it, yeah. Okay. Put it there. We're going to leave a little bit of space. You see these spacers here? They're just leaving about an eighth of an inch just so we can put the grout there. And then we'll do that right there. And then you push it up against push the Push it spacer. up back? Mm-hmm. And spacers are super cheap. Like, they're just like these little plastic things that come in different sizes. So you can have larger area for grout or a smaller area. Mm. And then we can put this one there, put too. this one here. And, you know, you can find tile at any big box store or specialty stores, you know, if you want something that's not really so... Well, we forgot to put the spacer in. Here put the go. spacer in. You move fast. Uh, I learn fast, but... Go. Yeah, you're doing good. Take a... You're doing good. Am I doing all right? So okay. this is step one for day one, because remember, this whole situation will take about 24 hours. So how long do we leave that? 24 hours. So 24 now it's hours. done. So now we're there, we go to sleep. Oh, okay. Oh. So now we have to put the grout in. So the grout is what's in between the tile. Ah. And you can pick any tile you want, but you can pick any color grout you want. And what we want to do is take your float. Mm. We're going to put some of the grout on the float. Like this? Just dig in. Mm -hmm. Oh, dig in. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Uh oh you, you know, said dig in. Got a piece of pie, Jennifer. Look at, let's get up down here. Okay, put it down there. Yeah, yeah we go. Okay. Here we go. Scoop it up. Uh-huh. It's like chocolate. It does. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Thinking about food. Okay. <laughs> well, how do I get it in the crack? We're just going to rub it over. Just a crack. Rub it over. Just rub it over. Like this? Just like that. Yes. We'll try to get it in a little bit. You get like, in there? Yeah, well, this will work for now. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different, but that's good. That's good. If Jennifer can do this, anybody can see, do it. Anybody can do it, okay? <laughs> so you can get some more and put it on that way. And then the, up, the other direction. Yes, we're okay. doing good. And what's great about the DIY side of tile work is that you can pick any type of tile you want so that your focal point in your kitchen, number one, it's cost effective, number two, can really make your personality show in your tile area, whether yeah. it's in the bathroom or in your kitchen. I love space. that you can do it yourself and you can pick what you want because I yes. feel like your personality should go in your home. Absolutely. It should feel like you and this gives you the control over it. Now, if this were a real 24 hours, uh -huh. see, I love how you Did I do good right? attention to detail. Very Thank good. You. Jennifer is doing it down here, you guys. Yeah. Now, in the real world of tile work, we would have a nice bucket of water, uh -huh. and then we would take the water on the sponge, and we would just wipe the excess grout off. Mm. And then once you wipe it off, you see how that, that terracotta is there? I was where that other stuff was going to go. You see that? that so okay. we would just clean it up. You know, sometimes water disappears. That's nice. fine. Nice. But then 
now. You have beautiful grout pencil. lines. And then everything's clean, and then you let this sit for 24 hours, and then it's ready. And it's ready. It won't slide up and down, or if you're doing it on your floors, you can walk on your floors, but you have to wait for about 24 hours so it sets. Done. I can do that. Yeah. I can handle that. Thank mm. you for that. Did that. This is amazing. I want to wipe too. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.